okay so here I am with my new video on OpenCV tutorials and in this video I'll be seeing I will be showing you how to load an image uh, a video and um, display it on the screen frame by frame so let's start so let's move into the working directory so in my case let me just close this and open it, uh, it and from where from sorry there yeah. okay so open in terminal and uh, let's get started so nano and uh, main dot cpp and in this case it will be main 4 dot cpp and uh, include uh, it will be open cv 2 oblique open cv dot uh, hpp and uh, using namespace S P A C E C V and then we declare a function main int arg c and uh, char double star arg v next is the start of our function and we declare a, a mat object a mat a uh, frame and a video capture object video capture is defined in opencv libraries uh, so that we can read uh, we can take uh, uh, input of all the frames that are present in a window as an array so it's a very huge array of uh, each and every frame okay so let's just define that capture here okay now next task is to open the video so capture dot open and uh, uh, it will be arg v1 so now next we uh, start a for loop this will be infinite for loop and it will break only on one condition when the user sorry it will break on only two condition and that will be if uh, uh, frame dot empty that means if our frame is empty and uh, this is uh, this will check the frame is empty and this is defined in the mat uh, uh, class and uh, next uh, we insert uh, one frame into this frame object from capture so what this will do is whenever uh, suppose we call it n times then the nth frame will be inserted into the frame object and the previous one will be uh, automatically deleted so that's uh, automatic and it's uh, already uh, defined in opencv so that uh, makes our task very easy and next we uh, want to check uh, is uh, next we want to show the image so i am show and uh, let's uh, name this uh, demo window um, window okay window and uh, what this will do is it, it will uh, just create a window uh, named window itself and uh, show it on that window so that's also uh, predefined uh, the the i am show calls the name window itself if uh, if it is uh, if it isn't already uh, defined uh, then uh, it will call it and create a named window named window in this case and we'll show it so frame and uh, next is to wait key okay and uh, also we want to check uh, this if uh, wait key let's say 30 and this 30 will decide uh, this weight key in the number inside the weight key will decide how much frames per second you want if you set it to zero then your video will not play until unless you press another video another uh, any button or you press enter uh, if you uh, uh, enter any other number like one two three four then your video will be running very fast because uh, the program will be waiting for 30 milliseconds for uh, before starting your video so that's how it works so you just try experimenting that here so break and also we break it here so break 
this shows that our real ends here uh, that uh, or whatever you call it and uh, we return 0 and then so we exit and uh, what we do we try to run it next so main 4.cpp and hyphen o output and uh <coughs> next pass where the libraries are so pkg config and uh, c flags where are the include files and where are the libraries and for which thing you want to find that let's hit enter and hope it compiles without any error I think it will compile without any error okay so uh, next let's just try running this output what's this here openm pi no oh yeah uh, output and uh, next the video file path so open cv hyphen uh, zero let's say uh, six and uh, open cv hyphen zero six dot mp4 and let's hit enter so I'm, I'm making this video uh, later because uh, uh, I deleted uh, it with the video by mistake and that was a huge mistake so I think we have some uh, problem here so let's check it again so we declared the mat frame uh, we declared uh, the visual capture object capture we opened it uh, here and uh, we created a for loop here we check the frame is empty then we'll break and uh, we inserted one frame into this next we showed on a window so let's just uh, try declaring it try declaring the name window here usually it creates so this mustn't be the problem window and uh, sorry window and uh, this will be window auto size okay and uh, <coughs> let's just try saving this and uh, try compiling it again okay uh, so we missed a semicolon here a uh, semicolon can destroy our whole work so this open cv06 again it open and close so this an error let me just go through it by once and uh, okay so i found the error and uh, that's uh, that was a very silly error and uh, could do blunders so uh, what i did was i i uh, inserted the frame uh, into this frame object after I uh, checked whether it's empty or not so initially frame will be empty and ob obviously the uh, loop will break quickly so I just uh, replaced uh, it on the top and be sure that you have to insert the frame uh, at the beginning now what we can do is uh, we can remove this from here and uh, again I show you by compiling this the programmer compiled without any error and uh, next we open my video so you see it's playing at a very normal rate however if you change the uh, uh, integer in weight key then it will run quite fast so that's it for today if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and do subscribe uh, my channel and also don't forget to click the bell icon and uh, support me on uh, patreon and thanks for watching